going? Nikai, why don't you start off? What's going on, guys? My name is Nikai Montgomery. I'm from Dallas. I went to ESD. Uh, I graduated from Duke. And I'm in my second year in the PLL, playing with the Redwoods. The Redwood Lacrosse Club are going to select Nakai Montgomery from Duke University. I think this is the steal of the draft. Yeah. I had him on my big board as a top eight type player. He's also a great teammate too. When you talk to people at Duke, his coaches, his teammates, they love being around him. He's got positive energy. Watch him celebrate. Watch the way that he congratulates. I'm more impressed like when other guys score, he's the first to run over, race over to them, and jump up. Get these fucking guys. Get Let's go. We gotta do it together. Fly around this field together. You got it? Here we go. Roll one, two, three. One, two, three. Roll one. Let's go. We're shooting on the run. Don't stop your feet. Nice shot. Step to your target with your left hand, right? When we switch it to our left, right, you'll step to your target with your right foot, right? But when you throw, always step to your target, right? Always step to your target. So we're in Prosper right now. Check the stadium out. It's freaking crazy. The turn. Stadium behind me is insane. Uh, it's just like Texas for you right there. Like just freaking massive stadiums where the entire town, everyone's in that stadium. What you come to realize is that like, it's really just a sports town. Like that's what it really is. And so like, dude, our lacrosse games were so turned, like so electric, because they were on Friday nights as well. And so, I mean, we, we play lacrosse games of four or 5,000 people there. But that's just like the sports culture in Texas. Like it's, it's insane. When my family does anything, it's centered around like a sports event. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like for Thanksgiving, okay, like where are we watching the Cowboys game this year? Or like, like last night, like the Rebels game was like, you know what I'm saying? That was like, that was what was going on. What do you guys do for Thanksgiving? You guys watch the Cowboys. You watch the Cowboys play football. That's what you do on Thanksgiving. So I started playing when I was in third grade. Uh, my best friend at the time, named Preston Randolph. We are walking together uh, after school. And this is at St. Phillips, like my school in South Dallas. N like, obviously I'd never heard of lacrosse. Uh, we are walking and I literally remember it so well. He's like, uh, he's like, I gotta go to lacrosse practice. And I was like, what's that? Um, and he told me what it was and he's my best friend. So I was gonna go with him. So I called my mom um, and they let me go to practice with him and I, and I just could not pick up the ball. And everyone thought it was so funny that I couldn't pick up the ball. And I was just like, all right, I'm gonna learn how to pick up the ball. <laughs> uh, my, first, my first awesome play was when I made it through maybe like three or four people and kept the ball. So that was probably like two years later. Um, but I remember that like yesterday too. You know what I'm saying? Like looking down after you got through like everyone, you're like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? It is so amazing. I love seeing him play. He is so happy. So he is in his happy space right now. And looking around the stadium and seeing all the kids that he's coached, they say reach one, teach one, and that's what he's been doing. He goes out and he lets them know, I'm a lacrosse player, and I love it. And he lets them know that lacrosse is for everyone. Just my heart is just heavy. Right, after you dodge, you gotta get that shot off quicker. Right, all those extra steps, defense is catching up. Gotta get it off, shot, shot. 
when the league started, you know, it was like shit. Like that's something I want to be a part of. Like, how how long did it take to like get the fruition and stuff like that? So that first year, for... I went to the Denver Games and I was like, I was blown away by the production and by how everything is and the tickets and like everything, the whole the whole thing. I was blown away by this whole thing. It's like fucking so cool. Appreciate Sorry, that. you be. I didn't mean to say yeah, that. Yeah, all good. good. All good. You, you uh, you'll be in this shit. Yeah. When you graduate, two years? I can't wait, man. What are you, you gonna be a junior? I'm gonna be a junior. I'm gonna be a junior. Yeah. Yeah. Get two years. Good one. Unless you wanna pop off and get drafted next Is that <laughs> This shit crazy. Yeah, actually, I text right. my cousin right. for a summer. How are we doing, man? Big fan. Good yeah. to meet you. Good to meet you. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Yeah. Living? Yeah. I'm actually, I'm living at yeah. the yeah. summer. Are yeah. you really? Okay. Are you gonna be on the sidelines for this game? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shout out and find you. For real. Good to meet you, brother. Good to meet you. The craziest part is like you don't notice things until like 10, 15 years later. Like I played with Rob Pinnell. That's a crazy thing. It's like that's someone else I just grew up. And I was just like watching the whole time. Even by the time I was a Duke fan in that Final Four in 2013, like it was hard to not root for him. You know what I'm saying? Like he, like he is an absolute legend. Like I have Paul Rabel's phone number. Like that's like. That's like, a, it's like crazy. But Miles Jones, like looked up to him or his number at Duke. I'm like doing it, like the whole thing. I'm living the whole dream, you know what I'm saying? Like remembering that stuff and like not taking it for granted because like it's insane. Like it's so cool. Uh, I can't even like put into words, man, like what, 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 what it means to be able to do this and like to be completely honest with you. I've morphed a lot. I used to want to be the president. That was my first dream job. I used to want to be the president. Um, and now, to be honest, I want to play older than Hartzell. I want to play, I want to play till I'm fucking 40. 